I know that everyone wants to get that shiny YouTube subscriber plaque that shows off that you got 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Believe me, me too. We're working our way there, guys. We're gonna do it together. But I also wanna share with you that the way to get there, the YouTube metrics that matter, might not be the ones that you think. And that's what today's video is about, is how to know what are the metrics that you really need to be measuring to get the subscribership, the viewership, and everything, all the engagement that we wanna get on YouTube so you can grow your business, make an income, an impact, and profit through video. By the way, I put out videos like this every single week, helping entrepreneurs to grow their business and scale their audience and ROI. So be sure to click below and subscribe. So I know we want to look and be able to see how many subscribers do we have and how many views does this video have, but what's more important to YouTube are two metrics that I wonder if you even knew about. And number one is your watch time. How much are people actually watching your videos? YouTube wants to keep people on their platform. Makes sense, right? They want to be able to advertise to people. They want people spending a lot of time on YouTube. And if you're a creator that can keep people on YouTube, they're going to reward you and benefit you by putting you in front of of more people to watch your videos more. If your video is getting a great watch time, that let's say your video is 10 minutes long and people are watching most of it, that shows YouTube that this video has authority, that it's keeping people entertained, that it's an important video, and they're gonna put that video in front of more people. If your video is 10 minutes and people are only watching 30 seconds, what do you think is gonna happen to that video? The algorithms are gonna go, eh, this isn't a great video, and they're not gonna put it in the top of search results, so it's not gonna be seen. It's like making an amazing masterpiece and hiding it in the desert. We wanna make content that people are actually watching, that people are retained, they're watching all the way through, which is gonna be benefit you, it's gonna benefit your audience, and it's gonna benefit YouTube. It's a win-win-win all the way around. So when you're looking at your metrics, you wanna look at the retention, the watch time, the average view duration. How much are people actually watching in that video? Are they watching all the way through? Are they dropping off after 30 seconds? And from that, you wanna look at your video and see why. Is it that I had too long of an intro? Is it that I talked about something that was boring? Is it that I was controversial and then people didn't watch, wanna watch this anymore? So you wanna learn from your previous videos by seeing the activity and the behavior that your audience is taking and learn from that in your future videos. This is so important because the more people are watching your videos, the longer they're watching, like I said, YouTube is gonna put that in front of more people, which is going to result in more views and more subscribers. So the first thing you wanna pay attention to is the quality of the videos, how that's getting people watching the video throughout, and what that's leading towards for your watch time. The second metric that really matters is the click-through rate. What does that mean? It means of all the videos that people are seeing when they search for something, are they clicking through on yours or your competitors? And they're gonna click through on this based on mostly your thumbnail and then of course the other metadata like your title, your description, all of that information that tells YouTube what this video is about. So let's say you're looking for a YouTube video, you type into the search engine, you have all these options. How do you decide which video you wanna watch? Is it based on the video, maybe you, you're familiar with the creator already, maybe it's that the thumbnail stands out to you, maybe it's that the, the title of it stands out to you. What is it about this video that can make you click through? And a click-through rate is really important. YouTube, again, wants to see of all the videos, are the people choosing yours or are they choosing someone else's? So your thumbnail is gonna be so important for this click-through rate. And a lot of people don't pay attention to what their thumbnails should be. Your thumbnail should be engaging, it should be maybe colorful, it should have a big picture of you, it should have good text that shows what the video is about. Russell Brunson has a really great YouTube channel and I use his as an, ex as an example a lot when I'm teaching my students to show what a great example of YouTube thumbnails look like. Now you'll also see on his YouTube channel that not all of his thumbnails even have text. Sometimes there's great images that will demonstrate what the video is about without actually writing the words. Like I remember there was this one video where he's talking about the concept of a value ladder, which is about how to scale your audience and, and ROI by having different levels of value and different service offerings. It's a picture of him and it's a picture of a ladder next to it. And I think there's like a question mark or something in the thumbnail too. And I love that because it didn't have to say the title on the video, but the image really spoke for itself. You know, a picture's worth a thousand words. So you want to have this thumbnail that really stands out, has a big picture of you or whatever the subject of the, of the video is, and whether it's words or another image that demonstrates what this video is about. 
So those are the two most important metrics that matter. You want your watch time and your click-through rate. That's what's going to show YouTube that your videos are important, that they have authority, and to show YouTube that they should put your videos in front of more people when they're searching for content. That's the way you're going to win on YouTube. And if you wanna know more ways that you can win on YouTube and how you can actually build your business on YouTube, I have a 21-day infinite video impact challenge where I help you over the 21 days to help you build out your offerings for you to be able to sell your message around that and how to push that out to the market even on autopilot. We have students that within the 21 days have gotten to a thousand subscribers on their brand new YouTube channel and made money even in the 21 days from their brand new offers. So click the link below or go to infiniteimpactchallenge.com to learn more about that. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below and subscribe for more weekly videos.